Welcome back for part five of the ultimate duck boat build. Got the Mo Marsh back here, and I want to show you guys where we're at with it right now. We've got the cover all set up and ready to go. We got the doors ready to go. And in the last video, we installed some of that hydro turf. It's kind of got the baseline going here. We're going to start building up from here. And today, we're going to light up the night. Because when you're duck hunting, you got to get up early in the morning. You got to see where you're going when you're driving the boat. And to do that, we're going to be installing one of these bad boys. But I have got some stuff to go through with you guys before we get to working on that because I got some explaining to do and some really cool stuff to show you. First of all, I want to dive into this box with you guys because it's a big announcement. I haven't done it on YouTube yet. I needed to. But inside this box is some really cool stuff and I want to share it with you guys. So, first of all, let me see if I can find it. Here we go, here we go. Boom. You guys have been waiting for these forever. Hats are finally back in stock on the website. So all you gotta do is hit that link down in the description, head over to outdoorlimitshop.com and pick up one of these Max 5 hats while they last. This one is one that I'm pretty excited about for this summer. It is the Outdoor Limits flag tee. It's got American flag on the back, shotgun shells for stars, duck calls for stripes. So great for 4th of July. And if you guys are looking for something to wear this fall or on those summer nights, we got Mallard's Bro hoodies. This is what I wanted to talk to you guys about before we got into the light bar project. This at one point was my kayak battery box. And I did a few modifications to it. I did some looking online to see if I could find some like ideas on how to make like a switchboard on a battery box to power like LED lights or navigation lights or a bilge pump, things of that nature. And I came to this. I will leave a link to the video that inspired this down in the description so you guys can check that out. But this is what we've got for the battery box. It's a little bit crazy on the inside here. I do have a battery on order. This is the battery that I had been using to power the LEDs on my kayak. It's just a 12 volt, 7.5 amp hour battery. I ordered, I think it's an 18 amp hour battery. So it's the same width, but it's a little bit, or same length, but it's a little wider and the same height. So it'll fit really well inside this Plano field box. You can see on the backside, we got a bunch of wiring done. Um, I'm not really, that technical with this stuff. So I will, like I said, I'll leave the link to the video that showed me how to do this down in the description. So this is gonna be the battery box for the Momarsh. We have one switch that turns on the voltmeter in the middle and turns on the master power. Second switch here will turn on the USB charger. Third switch will turn on the cigarette outlet. So if I need to charge anything, cameras, phone, you name it, I've got a power source to do that, which is going to be really cool. And then I've got three switches for accessories. And so I rigged up the accessories on the sides with some plugs so I can unplug this, take it out of the boat, charge it, do whatever I need to do, take it to do some other stuff. So I think this is going to be a very versatile tool for the boat, but I wanted to go a little bit above and beyond just a basic hook, hook a light bar to a battery and roll. Today we're gonna to be getting the light bar rigged up on the boat. What I've got here is the plug for the battery box. So I'm gonna be rigging up the light bar to this and then I'll just be plugging my accessories into those sockets and we're ready to rock and roll. So I do need to figure out uh, where I'm gonna be keeping this in the boat, how I'm gonna secure it, things of that nature and also what else to plug into this. So if you guys have any ideas of things to add to the boat, make sure to leave it down in the comments. I've had to do quite a bit of thinking about how I'm going to be putting this light bar on the boat. I came up with two ideas and I think one is gonna be the winner here. First of all, I had to think about, am I gonna put it on top of the cover or am I gonna make it work to where it sits below the cover? Fortunately, the light bar will fit underneath this cover. So that means what I'm gonna to have to do is when I'm going to my spot, I'm gonna to have to roll back the cover from the front. And I did this ex the exact same way in my kayak. So it would basically roll back just like that and it's gonna give me all the space I need for maybe some nav lights up front 
and of course the light bar. I'm gonna have the light bar sitting there and then when I go to hunt, all I'm gonna do is just pull this cover back into place. So it's nothing new. It's exactly the same thing that I did with the kayak and it fits really well. It is gonna add some space up here, just extra fluff, but I don't think that's gonna be too big of a deal. I've got the kind of light bar that doesn't have the mounts on the sides, so I'm gonna have to mount it with these, which will slide side to side. Originally, I thought I was gonna mount it right here, but the light bar is just a hair too wide to do that. At least I think so. Yeah, I don't wanna mount it down here where it might fit because that's just not gonna work very well. I want it as high up here as possible so that I can see over the front of the boat. And so the place that I decided that I'm gonna be mounting this is right here on the front. It's gonna be able to get covered while I'm hunting, which that was a big concern of mine is, am I gonna be able to cover this light bar to get a better hide? And I think having it underneath the cover is gonna be the way to go. Pulling the cover back isn't gonna affect anything while I'm getting to my spot. So I think this right here is the ticket on how to mount this. And so I will be able to kind of adjust the tilt of this light accordingly to tilt it up or down. So I need to get those figured out. We'll get some holes drilled and start wiring this bad boy in. After doing some careful calculations, I need to drill here, here, and then one right there for the power cord. I'm gonna start with a smaller bit just to get it started with kind of like a little pilot hole. Now on this cord, I don't want it to be too open, but I'm definitely gonna need to go bigger and I think I need to go bigger for these as well. Yep. And snug as a bug right there. Might be a little tricky to get that in there. Nice thing about these is there's kind of lines here that you can kind of line up your two pieces with. But now, we can, first of all, let's get rid of this. Yes, we know black is negative and red is positive. All right, so we'll run our power cord through our hole. And then we'll run our bolts through these holes. All we got left to do is throw these suckers on there. Guten tight is what we're going for. Nothing more, nothing less. We got it all good and tight on there. That feels really solid. And I think that's gonna work really, really, really well. Here's what it looks like from the front. Looks good. It might be a hair to the left, but I'm not gonna be super nitpicky at this point. I think it looks really good. Everything's tightened down. And we've got all the nuts and bolts back here. Those done. And we've also got our power cord. So like I said, I don't really wanna get it all wired up completely yet because I've got other electrical components I'm gonna be adding to this and I need to figure out where I'm gonna be putting that battery box. So we're gonna call it good there, but let's throw the cover back on and see how that fits. When I'm driving the boat, we're gonna have the light bar exposed, but then when I go to hunt, my plan, hypothetically, theoretically, in a perfect world, if I did everything correctly, money. The cover fits right over that light bar. I'm not gonna have to worry about that light bar flaring any birds at all. So it's easily concealed right under the cover and it adds a little bit more kind of height to this instead of just making this flat. It's gonna add a little bit of 3D to it. So that looks perfect. My plan worked. It feels good to have a plan that works. Big things to come in the future. This boat build is gonna be a lot of fun and it's kind of piecing together. I mean, we've got the hydro turf in, the deck cover's all good to go. We get the light bar installed. 
So things are definitely kind of coming together and I'm really excited to see what else we can do to make this boat even better than it already is. Stay tuned throughout the summer. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Drop me a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one.